in the 5G era, how can optical networks be evolved to reduce costs and improve efficiency? How can we better meet the differences and uncertainties across different industries without changing the quality of connections? Global Data Principal Analyst Amir Halilovic will share his perspectives on how liquid OTN technology can bring change to the network. Welcome to Huawei 5G Live. I'm Professor Sally Eaves. It's a real pleasure to be here today with Amir Halilovic, who is the Principal Analyst from Global Data. Amir, it's lovely to meet you. Thank you very much. I'd love to speak to you about transmission technologies and where you feel the biggest opportunities and challenges are at the moment. Well, biggest opportunities and challenges are in actually taking uh, the networks as we have them today into, let's say, a transformed state where they are much uh, simpler to operate, much more automated, and uh, much higher capacity without sacrificing the uh, characteristics that we already have, like uh, traffic isolation, like uh, extreme reliability, and so on. Fantastic. And in terms of liquid OTN technology, what do you think are the biggest opportunities and challenges there? Liquid OTN is uh, a, let's say, necessary uh, part of the portfolio going forward uh, for companies that want to extend their uh, optical private line businesses uh, into mass market, so to say. Uh, in the past, uh, the lower capacity connections were served by SDH uh, optical lines, and the SDH uh, technology is quite old. Now, Liquid OTN actually enables operators to serve much uh, higher granularity services, so, so you can go from uh, 2 megabits per second uh, with traditional OTN, it was uh, the lowest granularity you could provide was 1 gigabit per second. Uh, at the same time, you get flexibility, you can uh, change bandwidth on the fly, you get uh, much higher efficiency, and uh, uh, also you can get uh, automation uh, characteristics with the newest uh, SDN uh, control mechanisms. So it's, it's a fairly flexible uh, tool for uh, operators to actually extend their optical businesses into more of a mass market product. Do you have any specific application scenarios for vertical industries? Well, the vertical industries that will see the most benefit out of Liquid OTN are the industries that already rely on uh, SDH as their preferred means of communication and providing data services at the moment. Uh, the reason is that uh, SDH uh, for them uh, gives uh, reliability and uh, gives them um, enough capacity uh, for, their, for their needs at the moment. But uh, because it's a legacy technology, the growth potential is uh, relatively limited. And also it, uh, it relies on uh, equipment that is uh, relatively uh, old and is also uh, not being supported anymore. But Liquid OTN, because of its lower granularity and uh, all the other parameters that, uh, that it has, like uh, differentiated uh, QoS, uh, like uh, traffic isolation and so on, can give them the same type of experience as SDH plus it can give them much higher, um, uh, much higher control over latency, for example, support for different applications, uh, and at the same time uh, retain, uh, retain reliability and at the capacity that uh, they wish to use. So uh, if you look at where SDH is being used uh, right now, it's financial institutions, government, uh, utilities, and so on, they will be able to, to use uh, OTN, liquid OTN in this specific case, to actually migrate to a new type of network without sacrificing any of the characteristics they liked with their, uh, with their uh, SDH solutions. And finally then, just from the perspective of third parties, where do you see the future trajectory there? Well, the third parties, especially with regards to standardization, uh, liquid OTN, uh, is right now uh, Huawei technology. Uh, it builds on a standard te technology, its extension of uh, OTN, uh, which has been in its latest iteration standardized since 2009. Um, 
but it shows a direction uh, in which standardization probably should move so that uh, OTN can actually, uh, which is right now mostly a transport, a backbone technology, uh, move further and closer to, the, to customers and uh, give customers uh, a way how to migrate away from, from the legacy networks without sacrificing any of the characteristics they like in uh, SDH, for example. Thank you, Amir. Very much appreciate you sharing your perspective today. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.